you cry now? Okay. <laughs> Hello guys, and welcome back to my channel. To myself. What a wonderful world. So today's video is going to be a prep with me for Bath & Body Works semi-annual sale. So it is coming up very quickly and I have up here, um, basically I'm going to start making my list right now. I'm going to look through Bath and, uh, Life Inside the Page, Daily Finds, a blog spot. I'm going to look through like Instagram and stuff. I'm going to look through my inventory and basically just prep for SAS. So this is like what I typically do before SAS comes. So I figured I would share with you guys like my normal process. And of course, I have my two helpers here today. We've got Mia right here, which is Ryan's parents dog and we're watching her. And then we have Kai over here and he's cuddled up and that's our pup. So my process for SAS is basically number one, I'll look what's in my collection currently what I'm missing, what I would like to have more of, and things like that. So that way I kind of manage my expectations with how much I can buy realistically and still fit into my collection and still like be ready for fall because take into account, you know, what's your favorite season? Maybe your favorite season is summer, so this is perfect. You can stock up and have your summer scents throughout the year. But for me, my favorite time of year to buy and purchase fragrances is gonna be fall and winter. Really fall is my favorite, but fall and winter is when I buy the most scents. So for me, it is it makes more sense to go hard during the winter SAS versus the summer. Summer, I just use to kind of stock up on things that I am low or in need of. So that's kind of what I think about when I go into SAS. So we're gonna go through my collection, go through my inventory numbers, and see kind of what I could use more of or what um, is okay for me to buy just because maybe I have a lower amount in that collection and I'm comfortable with making it a little higher. So that's like step number one. Step number two is gonna be, okay, now once I know what I can realistically put in my collection and still kind of use up, what do I want? So that's gonna be the fun part. We're gonna go through Life Inside the Page her uh, blog and see all the new stuff that's coming out for SAS. Now, I am pre-recording this and so it is not quite June yet. So there might be new things and I'll put that over in a voiceover if there is. There might be new things that come out since me looking at the blog right now at the end of May. So keep that in mind just in case. But yeah, we're gonna look through there and see kind of what I want and kind of make a wish list. So for me, Making a wish list really helps for SAS, for candle day, for things like that, um, or sale days that I know I'm gonna wanna go crazy in the store. It kinda helps me stay grounded. And um, I usually give myself a few like gimme items in case like I wanna go over what I accounted for. So making a wish list is gonna be step number two. Step number three is going to be talking about our strategy going into SAS. So if I haven't said this yet, this is gonna be a very long video, so grab a snack, sit down, get your tea, get your coffee, and put this on in the background. But it's gonna be a longer video, just so you know, because I'm putting all the steps in one. This is all you need to know. Um, but the last step is gonna be strategy. So when to go to SAS, when you should check your stores, kind of uh, what to look for, things like that, when to buy, all that kind of stuff. I'm gonna talk about that at the end. So um, <laughs> with all that being said, I hope that you find this information useful. And if you aren't already, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I do post Bath & Body Works content two times a week. I post a vlog every Monday and Bath & Body Works Wednesday and Friday. Most likely Bath & Body Works every now and then it's like a sprinkle of like a Homeworks candle haul or something else that's not really the same thing, but similar. So if you do enjoy that content, then you'll love my channel. But anyways, let's go ahead and start with what is in my inventory. So I'm gonna walk through my candle collection and my body care collection, show you guys what it looks like, what I have, and then we're gonna figure out where there's some gaps that I could buy things. Me as our helper today. <laughs> I have my candles in my bedside table actually, and these are the ones that I'm not currently using. So this is like my back stock of non-seasonal candles. So I've got a DW Homes dinner roll, red velvet cupcake from last uh, candle day, banana walnut muffin, which I'll probably bring out in the fall, pumpkin donut shop, also a fall candle, and give warmth chocolate marble cake, which is from, I think, winter candle day. So that's what I have right now. That is one, two, three, four, five candles right now, kind of in back stock waiting on the right season. So that's the candles. 
Okay, now we are in my bathroom and I actually have this over the door organizer for all of my body care. And this is body care that I don't currently have in a project use it up. Okay, so for fine fragrance mist, you guys can tell I have quite a bit. I really am not comfortable buying any more fine fragrance mists unless I know I'm not going to use them. Um, for instance, I did purchase this from Mercari a few, actually I think it was last month. It's Frosted Wonderland, oh my gosh, fo focus please, from like 2013 because it's one of my favorites. I'm never really going to finish it. I just have it in my collection to have because it's one of my absolute favorites of all time. So that one doesn't really count, but it takes me forever to use up Fine Fragrance Mist, so I'm definitely not going to purchase any during SAS, or at least I'm going to plan on not doing that. Okay, moving on to body lotions. I have two body creams that I'm currently using, um, and then I have a backup a vanilla mocha cream for fall or winter, and then I have two fall lotions. I'm currently using one lotion. I have these two on backup, vanilla mocha cream and white pumpkin and chai. So these are good for fall, but I'm not gonna use them until fall. So I think I definitely could allow for like one or two body lotions that could be maybe year round or just for summer. So I think I could definitely allow for two body lotions max and maybe one body cream. I would hate for it to go bad, but I would really like maybe like a strawberry pound cake, champagne toast, something that I could use kind of year round body cream wise. So I think two body lotions, maybe one or two body creams. And then shower gels, I have two fall ones again. I have a vanilla mocha cream, which is technically winter, but can also be used in fall. And a sugar cherry crisp, which I'm saving for fall because it's one of my absolute favorites in the shower gel. So saving those two, I think I could go for a third um, shower gel, I definitely could buy one. Um, maybe not a summer one because I just bought Bonfire Bash and I'm using that right now in the shower. So actually I don't own any moisturizing body washes. So I think I want to get one moisturizing body wash and maybe one regular shower gel. And then I'll still be comfortable for fall time since I know I'll probably use these two. Um, for body butter, I only have one, and I don't really want to buy another one because I rarely use this. It's Winterberry Wonder, I think from 2020. Yeah, so I rarely use this. I don't want to purchase another one. I'll probably try and finish it up this winter. Um, for perfumes, I don't usually buy Bath & Body Works perfumes, so I'm not going to focus on that. Um, I used to try and buy one body oil per uh, SAS, but I have not been using this lately, so I'm not going to do that. Um, and then minis, I don't actually have a lot of minis. I have these two. I'm currently using one shower gel and one fine fragrance mini, but I have those two little warm vanilla sugars. So I could definitely get some mini body care if I wanted to. Totally cool with like five mini body care items if I wanted to, because I literally have none. So I think that's going to be a safe bet for me to buy something if I want to would be buy a lot of minis. Um, one moisturizing shower gel, one regular shower gel, two body lotions, and like one or two body creams, and zero fine fragrance mist. Going into my closet, I do have one drawer that is Bath & Body Works. I apologize for the lighting over here, but this is all the stuff from Bath & Body Works that would not fit in the other drawer. So like a, a room spray, which I definitely don't need any more of. I barely use these at all. Um, tons of pocket backs, a few wallflowers, car fragrance refills, and then this is like a Scentsy body scrub. So it looks like I have quite a few uh, fall um, wallflower refills. I have pumpkin snickerdoodle, cereal and cartoons I guess could be year-round, but I really think it's like a fall one. Um, leaves is definitely fall, and so is blackberries and basil. So if I wanted to get a few for summer, I definitely could do that. So I'll leave myself maybe like three year-round slash summer ones that I could get. I think I'm actually really good on car fragrance refills. I have a ton that I bought at the winter SAS. Fresh fall morning, mahogany teakwood, mahogany teakwood, strawberry pound cake, vanilla bean, and pumpkin pecan waffles. I think I'm definitely good on those. And then pocket backs, I think I'm also really good. I have a ton of these and I have one in every single purse I own. So I think I'm good on pocket backs. If I wanted to buy one, I'm not mad about it. I don't think pocket backs really go bad until it's like two or three years old. And I definitely use them up within that amount of time. So um, yeah, so four uh, wallflower refills and then nothing else from there. Okay, and I did just want to show you my shower because 
we're gonna evaluate if anything in here changes that. So I'm using two full-size shower gels right now and then one mini back there. Um, and I am using a really exfoliating hard, harsh scrub right there. And then I am using a less harsh scrub right there. And this is actually Ryan's. He loves the Sol de Janeiro one. Of course I use it too, but I'm not focusing on finishing it. I do kind of want to get a Bath and Body Works scrub, maybe just one. I think one is enough for me. I take a really long time to use up scrubs. By the way, if you like my top, it's from Amazon. I'll link it down below. It's so cute. But anyways, so that's all my collection. So like I said, I definitely could get a few candles. I could get um, two shower gels, one um, moisturizing shower gel, two lotions, one body cream, a lot of minis if I want to, one scrub, and a few wallflower refills. So now that I know kind of what I can get and what I'm comfortable adding into my collection, let's go through, this is my, this is gonna be the most exciting part, let's go through Life Inside the Page Daily Finds blog spot because she posts a lot of new stuff and Lord knows where she gets it from. But she is a godsend. She's an angel. She posts everything before we even know that it's out, and it is just the best. Uh, Mia has left us for a bone, but I've got uh, Life Inside the Page, her blog spot up now, and she actually has a tab called Semi Annual Sales. So she has everything compiled on here that she has posted um, in the past. So this is a lot of good information. So Semi Annual Sale, if you don't know, starts Monday, June 13th. I'm supposed to go through like it says through July 10th. My in the past has even gone till August if they still have stuff in stock. Um, but I live near a outlet, so I'm sure that the outlet just gets more stuff and they get like the leftovers from people who are finished with SAS from other stores. Yeah, so let's go through some retired fragrances that are coming back. One in a million. Country Apple comes back every year. Pink Chiffon, Sunset Glow is back. So if you liked that one, pick it up and Sea Island Shore. I wouldn't mind Sunset Glow in a mini if it comes back in minis, because I did like that scent, but I don't think I'd do it in a full size. Um, we have this, not new collection, but returning collection, Fruit Fizz. I'm pretty sure all of these same scents were out last year. Cucumber Melon, Coconut Pineapple, Fresh Coconut Colada, Strawberry Soda, which everybody died over, and Watermelon Lemonade. I would not mind Strawberry Soda in something. That would be yummy. Um, and then we have a California Love Collection. So Sun Kissed is back. Happy Vibes, which I think was here last year, and Summertime Surf. Yeah, those were all here last year. We've got the Homebody Collection, which was in test stores last fall. Um, Misty Morning, Afternoon Sunshine, and Cozy Evening. This is actually like a aromatherapy collection. I don't think I'm going to pick up any of these because they all have some sort of like floral thing to them so um and then one of my favorites that's coming out is the fun fair collection this sounds so good so we've got orange vanilla twist which some are thinking is the snowy citrus swirl back again um cotton candy clouds which is back again cinnamon sugared donut i'm sorry cinnamon donut swirl which i am super excited for it looks like it might only come in shower gel and body lotion though, but I think I want to get it in both of those because that sounds like a great scent for fall too. And then Bubblegum Pop, which I know everyone is so excited for. I think that one's going to be the most popular one. For me, it's going to be a little too candy-y like for me to enjoy that, so I won't be putting that on my list. Um, we have a men's collection in Island. And then going into candles, we have the Eucalyptus Spearmint back. We've got the collection, I don't know what it's called, um, big fun, I guess, but this is the one that has pink petal tea cake in it, which I'm absolutely picking up. I think I'm going to pick up two pink petal tea cakes, and if I don't like it, I can just exchange it, but I'm going to pick up two the first time I see it, a pink petal tea cake, hot fudge drizzle, which is on my radar. I like it. I'll have to smell it though. Um, sunny tropical mango, pink lemonade, and toasted pineapple marshmallow. I also have toasted pineapple marshmallow on my radar i'm not sure if i'm gonna love it once i smell it but i do have that on my maybe list um we have like the wallpaper collection which is the same old stuff that comes out every year back black cherry merlot cactus blossom champagne toast eucalyptus rain hibiscus waterfall nothing special there we have the like mixed collection with the core scents so we have champagne toast and fresh orange which i am interested in because it sounds like a mimosa 
So I think I'm gonna pick that one up. Market peach and strawberry pound cake, I'm good. I'll pass. Um, rose water and ivy and mahogany teakwood, no. Pineapple mango and fresh balsam, absolutely not. I don't do balsam scents. And cinnamon spice vanilla and Paris cafe. I could use another uh, coffee scent because I am almost out of my little coffee single wick, so I'll probably pick that up if I like how it smells. Um, and then we do have a tie-dye hand soap collection. This is all foaming. Rainbow cereal, which is back. I don't think they had that last year in the hand soap, but they did have that in the uh, wallflower refill and in a candle. So rainbow cereal, pineapple mango, carnival kettle corn, which I'm interested to smell that. Cucumber melon, chasing daydreams, and pink lemonade. And then we've got a cleansing gel hand soap collection, which is fresh rainfall, black cherry merlot, Japanese cherry blossom, kitchen lemon, peach bellini, and warm vanilla sugar. That's just like the core collection. So nothing crazy there. Um, those are all the ones on her blog spot that have not been released yet. So that's all the info we have for now. Okay, so now we are on to part three of this video, which is going to be my tips and tricks for SAS. So I do have like a little notebook in front of me that I'll be reading off of. But yeah, it is June 13th. By the way, SAS means semi-annual sale. Bopis means buy online, pick up in store, uh, just in case you wanted to know. But I do believe Bopis will not be a thing um, during semi-annual sale. It wasn't last year, at least for my local store. So I'm expecting it to be the same thing this year that we won't be able to do that. I think they just go through the stock so quickly that they won't be able to keep up with the online store. So yeah, I don't think that'll be a thing for semi-annual sale, but my recommendations are go the first day. Even it's a Monday, which sucks. It would be nice if it was a Friday, but it's fine. Um, go the first day, go early if you can, go in the morning, either right when they open or before your lunch break, like take an 11 a.m. lunch on that day instead of a 12 p.m. lunch because it's gonna probably be really busy at noon. Um, and then after work, it's going to be busy, but you could also go right before the end of the day. So let's say they close at eight, go at 730. If you already know what you want and you're not going to be shopping around a lot, obviously we don't want to keep the sales assistants there for that long, like for after hours, but go right before they close because I've done that in the past, just like on accident and it's a dead zone. There's no one there right before they close. So either go right when they open, go like a little bit before, like for an early lunch or go at the end of the day. And I recommend going the first day or the first couple of days because that's when they have um, the newest stuff, the most stock. So they're probably gonna have what you're looking for that day. And then if you don't find what you want, wait a week or two because once they get through some of the collection, they'll start to get um, new inventory in or if they run out of stock, They'll bring in stuff from the back, which means like fall and winter stuff or stuff from last spring and summer. And that'll be some good finds that um, you weren't expecting to find. So go the first couple of days or the first week if you can, and then wait a couple weeks after that. And if you go in the first week and you pick something up and let's say it's only 50% off, in the next two weeks, you have a two week grace period to go get a price adjustment if it suddenly drops to 75%. I think they do change the pricing and you'll, you guys have to correct me in the comments every two weeks. So if something started out as let's say 50% off and then maybe the next period when they adjust pricing in two weeks, it goes to $5 instead of 50% off, it goes to $5. And then after that in two weeks, it'll go to 75% off, things like that. So I think that's the way the pricing structure works. You guys will have to let me know down below, but that's what I've seen in the past. If you have an outlet, the, the best information I can give you is if you have an outlet near you, make the drive. If it's 45 minutes away, honestly, it's worth it. Grab a girlfriend, you guys will do a coffee date or a brunch date and go to the store and then go get brunch or go to get coffee and then go to the store. It, it'll be fun, make a trip out of it. <laughs> but honestly, the outlets have the best stuff. So I will personally be going to my outlet. I think I'm gonna to go to the store nearest me because that one has like zero foot traffic. I'm gonna to go to the store near me that morning, Monday morning, and then I think around like dinner time, the end of the day, I'll go to my outlet um, just because it is a little further from me and I wanna wait till after traffic. So I'll probably go there around like seven or eight. Um, they're in the mall, so I think they close at like nine. So that's my plans for day one, but I definitely will be going back. I plan on vlogging the whole thing for you guys. Um, and yeah, make a list 
uh, look through your collection now, make a list, and that way you know what you're gonna buy. And from that list, you can kind of gauge what your budget is. So um, maybe you're gonna only buy 75% off stuff and you're only gonna get five 75% off lotions, okay? Well, that's gonna be probably around $15. They'll be like $3.50 each, so that's gonna be a good deal. But yeah, definitely go for the 75% off, the $5 and under stuff as soon as you can and wait on the other stuff. The only thing I'll say like not to wait on would be like Pink Petal Tea Cake, which I think will be very coveted. So Pink Petal Tea Cake, the Bubblegum Pop, things that you think are gonna be super sought after, maybe even Beach Nights, those three, I would go after day one, get a price adjustment. Um, but yeah, that's all the info I think I have for you guys. Oh, I do have one other tip. If you don't already have the Bath & Body Works app installed on your phone, go download it. It's called My Bath & Body Works. And when you create an account, just use the zip code 90210 because it doesn't allow in certain states and stuff. I don't know, it doesn't work in Texas where I'm from. So I just did 90210 and it worked for me. So type that in for your zip code instead of your actual zip code. And that way you can actually get access to the app. And I believe when you sign up for the first time, you get a 20% off coupon. It is online only though. Um, so you'll have to do like an online purchase, but usually the SAS online is not good unless you're looking for online only exclusives and then it is good, but usually it is not as good as going in stores. So definitely go in stores if you can make it out there. If you can't, then you can buy online too and you can still do the price adjustment online as well. So yeah, that's kind of all of my tips for SAS 2022 summer sale starts June 13th. Are you guys ready? Let me know down below, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was informative for you and I will catch you all in the next one. Bye.